Hey guys, welcome back to another video and I've got a key question for you today. How do you store your football shirts? So guys, if you haven't already, check out the video we did recently where I talked about some of the mistakes that I've made in my football shirt collecting journey. Now, we're all very different. Uh, some of us have whopping great mansions, some of us are living in one bedroom flats. That really doesn't matter, that's irrelevant. But for those of us who collect football shirts and for those of us who are starting to amass quite large collections, thinking about storage has become a key consideration. Now, for me, and I've got in excess of 200 shirts now, I am limited in terms of the hanging space I've got. And therefore, uh, I've had to think very carefully about how to store my shirts or whether I need the amount of shirts I've got. There was a time in my early days of collecting where everything got thrown into a box, things weren't folded, and then when you come to look at, at, look at going through your shirts, you find them creased, you'd need to iron them, all of that stuff, and actually that just takes time. So my attitude has changed, and now it's about considering, well, at the end of the day, my shirt collection is, is a bit of an investment for me. If I'm spending money on a lovely shirt, especially if it's a new shirt, I want to maintain it's, it's quality uh, and uh, do everything I can to protect that shirt. One of those things is by keeping a label on it so it remains a brand new tag shirt. But secondary, making sure I think about where I'm storing them. So a couple of considerations you need to be aware of are think about where you're storing it and the temperature of that room. There's no point storing your shirt somewhere that's damp or humid and you know there is a risk of, of them getting smelly or moldy. Um, equally, you don't really want to bury them away in the corner of a cupboard where you know you might pile other things on and it just gets all cramped. And like. so think really carefully. Now, as you can see behind me, I've got a number of my shirts. Now I've got these hanging rails. I've got two or three of these portable hanging rails. Now, the reason I use that is because I've actually only got one proper cupboard space in my house where I can stir shirts and that cupboard is predominantly used for my collection of Liverpool shirts and these match warm shirts that I've got out just for, for this video. I've got two or three of these rails within the house and because they're portable it means that you know I don't upset everyone else who lives in the house and it means I can move things around whether that's for recording or just to create some space. So I have to be realistic and think practically about how I store those. And I would much rather have my shirts hanging up and hanging free, um, avoiding them getting creased. Um, so to that end, that's, that's why I prefer to do it. Now, if you've got more room, you might want to consider how you store your shirts. Um, you might want to think about buying units from places like Ikea um, and, and using your space wisely, doubling up maybe. Having You see some people that have them stacked too high. But for me, that's not practical. I can't do that. So portable frames like this. And this one I purchased here in the UK from a retail store called Wilco's. I think I picked these up for about a tenner. And you can get them on eBay or I'm sure you have equivalents if you're watching from anywhere around the world. But they're really good. They're practical. Um, you see a lot of these if you go to some of the retro football fairs as well. Really highly practical way and provide a nice backdrop as well. So... As I said, think about that. The other thing I do, as you can see, is I protect my shirts. Now, there is nothing wrong with just hanging your shirts without the protection. That's fine as long as you're sensible as to where you are storing them. But for me, there are certain shirts in my collection where I want to add an additional layer of protection. And I do that on my match-worn shirts and my Liverpool collection because they are tucked away in, uh, in, in a cupboard there's not as much airflow, so um, I, want, I want to do what I can to protect them. Um, so as you can see here, let's, let's take one of these shirts as an example. Here we have, uh, this is the 2021-22 Forest Green Rovers home shirt. Um, as you can see here, it's, it's hanging freely on that hanger. This is a very light, loose fitting. Now, now these things, are, and I'll talk a bit, a bit about how you can uh, source these they're not dissimilar to the sorts of things you get when you've taken your shirts into a dry cleaners and they come back on a hanger with the these sort of um, protectors um, now these 
are slightly longer than I envisaged and I'll talk a little bit more about that but as you can see it allows some flexibility for the shirt yes the shirt does tend to bunch up on itself a little bit I mean if I pick another one out let's pick this Ipswich shirt out again you know you can see there it perhaps doesn't hang as freely as, as it would without the protector because the protector's constraining it a little bit but it, it, it means that those shirts are, are protected from any blemishes, you know, there's no way I can mark these. Um, and it's allowing, you know, a bit of separation between the two. Um, so, you know, there's no risk of, of anything rubbing against each other. So that's how we do that. And, and basically, here we've got a bag. So this was the, the latest set of packages I've got. I'll stick a link up in the description and I'll put a little overlay now of this particular eBay seller that I bought these from. But they, you typically buy these in 50s or 100s and they come on a huge great roll. And I'm going to show you how to do them because it really is really simple. You basically, you take, you find the natural um, end point which is there. Now these are extra long and frustratingly they're probably too long really for my wardrobe they're okay on here but as you can see here you can open them up and what I do is I stick my arm up and right at the top you'll notice there's a little hole here and I literally scrunch that down and let's take a shirt so this is the latest match worn edition to the collection this is a Harrogate Town uh, match worn shirt that I got um, on a charity auction direct from the club and all I'm going to do is put that hanger there bring that down over the top pull that down make sure we bring oh all the best laid plans let's start that again we'll find the top Here we go, and grab that, and as you can see, that was more painful than it needed to be. <laughs> You've now got your shirt protected. As you can see, if I really hold this up, I've got a lot of loose stuff here, so what I'll do is I'll get some scissors. I'll just trim that off, but there you go, and then let's move those up there, and that goes on there. We've got another couple of shirts here. Let's just give it another go, shall we? Just to show you one more time. It really is easy. And these, these aren't expensive. You'll be paying no more than 15, 20 pounds for, you know, I think 50, 50 or 100, I can't remember. And I think that's a small price to pay for protecting your shirts. So we're going to protect this 21, 22 Liverpool uh, away shirt with Mo Salah there again put it in there bring it down bring that right up through the hole let's adjust that so it fits neatly there and there you go really is easy as that as you can see it's uh okay I mean uh, the colors perhaps you lose a little bit of the vibrancy because you've got the You've got the, the polythene shining through there. But look, at I mean, I've got a whole stack here of match-worn shirts. And, you know, they're all nicely protected from one another. And I can sleep safe knowing that I'm doing all I can to protect my shirts. So there you go, guys. You can avoid making some of the mistakes I made early on by protecting your shirts and thinking about your storage. I hope that was helpful, guys. We'll stick that link in the description. If you want these, go buy them. Check out, um, check out all the offers you can get. Protect your things, hang them up. Let us know how you get on, guys. Hope that was useful, guys. As I say, if, you've, if you're new to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button. We would really value a follow, and we'll keep you up to date with lots of really exciting football shirt content. Until the next video, guys, thanks for watching.